this video, we're going to do an example from the homework in experience eight. This is all about a confidence interval for a population mean mu. This is number seven. In a survey, 11 people were asked how much they spent on their child's last birthday gift. Okay. The results were roughly bell-shaped with a mean of 39 bucks and a standard deviation of seven bucks. We're going to create a 99% confidence interval for the average money spent on their child's last birthday. And they want us to enter the point estimate and the margin of error. I transcribed all the required info over into my writing space. And I've got the formula that we're going to utilize here. We need to figure out the T critical value. We were given all the other info, right? One of the entry fields that we need to enter into the assignment is the point estimate, x bar. That's the average. That's already been given to us. We already know s and square root of n, but when we multiply that by this t critical, that's going to get us the margin of error. Let's figure out this t critical value. The degrees of freedom is just n minus 1. So the degrees of freedom is 11 minus 1, which is 10. The alpha, that little fishy, is the complement to 99%. So, 0 0.01, but we need to chop that in half, 0 0.005. We're going to take that info to the t table to find that t critical value. So I know I need to go to the row that says 10 degrees of freedom and the column that says point. 005. Here's the column that says point 005. And I want the row that says 10. There it is. I want to get the intersection of that row and that column. So 3.169 is our T critical value. Another way to figure out which column you have to go to in this T table, it's kind of nice. If I keep my cursor in this column, at the bottom it says 99% confidence level, so you can double check your work there. Okay, so 3.169 is our T critical value. Now I have all the pieces to put together. Our point estimate was 39. We're going to add and subtract that t value we just found over here, multiplied by s over square root of n. Let's compute 7 divided by the square root of 11. Let's now multiply that 2.11 or so by 3.169. That is our margin of error, 6.688. Now that's all we really need to answer the question on the homework, but for completeness sake, for my own sanity, I'm going to actually create the interval in interval notation. I can see the, the addition's always a little easier, right? 
I can see that that would add up to 45.688, but I will double check my subtraction here where I'm taking the point estimate of 39 and I am subtracting 6.688, 32.312. Now let's go enter in what I'm circling in pink here into the homework problem. Make sure that it works. Now it wants our values to be rounded to one decimal place, so I better enter 6.7 there. And that's great. 6.7. 